How to set up taxes on Shopify 2023 step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to be quickly going through on how you can set up your taxes on Shopify in the easiest, most simplest way in 2023. So just keep on watching this video till the end and uh, let's get straight into it. So to basically set up your taxes with, uh, you know, Shopify, all you're going to do is first of all, you're going to head over to your settings. Now, behind the whole taxes thing, it's pretty complex when it comes to it because there's a lot of things that go on. So just make sure to watch and listen to everything. So you're going to come down here on taxes and duties. Now, okay, let me give you a disclaimer. These taxes are only US based because uh, like a lot of taxes work only come to US based. And we know that taxes are one of the most annoying things when it comes to, you know, managing an e-commerce store. So yeah, uh, once we're here, you can see manage sales tax collection. If you haven't already create a shipping zone in the religions you're liable in. Then find the region in this list and uh, select it to manage its tax settings. If you're unsure about where you're liable, check with a tax professional. So if none of these steps work for you, then obviously you're going to have to check in with your tax professionals later on. But uh, let's just do our best to do um, the best we can. So uh, first of all, we're over here. Okay. And uh, we're going to manage our place of taxing. So let's go with the, you know, the U S or, you know, the United States, or, you know, you can go with Canada, Australia, etc. Okay. Uh, and then you also have like tons and tons of other countries. I'm going to go with the United States for now. And once you're there here, you can see states you're collecting it. Once you determine where you're liable, register for collection in those states and come back here to start collecting taxes from customers. You're going to go on uh, you're going to click on start. And here it's going to say collect sales tax. Now, sales tax is automatically calculated and applied to orders. Make sure you are registered for sales tax when, you know, collecting the sales tax in, let's say, Alabama or, you know, whatever state you're from. So let's go uh, with the, you know, more viable say, let's go with uh, Massachusetts. Okay. Uh, here we are, Massachusetts, then you have the sales tax ID. So to find out your sales tax ID, you can, you know, write Massachusetts sales tax ID. You can, you know, go with that. So, you can know, go with the, your sales tax ID number. It could be, you know, anything you can ask your ID handler and something like that. So as you can see, they're saying you can get your sales tax ID number from here. So. You know, let's go to this URL. You can just paste it over here. And uh, once you've obviously come over here, wait, let me just, okay. So once you've, you know, headed into your state's tax ID place, you can uh, then just get ahead, find your ID. Like, let's say you have this tax ID over here. Let's copy that. You're going to paste it over here. And then you're going to click on collect sales tax. Now, here you can see you've added the region. And here you have added your sales tax ID. And now you can go ahead and start collecting your sales tax. And uh, this history is going to stay here because uh, like this is just, to, you know, give you an ease to know and uh, just make it, you know, sure on uh, what you use and what region you added and what sales tax ID you added over here. So we're like going to stay, you know, familiar with this. You can add more states and IDs if you want to but I'm just going to keep Massachusetts over there. So now we have tax rates and exemptions. So here you have shipping overrides where you can set custom tax rates for shipping destinations. So you can keep a shipping override. Let's say we have Massachusetts and in Massachusetts, you can keep a tax rate of uh, let's say 15%. Okay. Let's keep it 15% and add an override. So what this does is this is going to override the price by 15%. So if like, let's say the shipping cost and like the whole cost included with the shipping cost is around, let's say $44. So, uh, it's going to basically take a 15% of $44. So, uh, let's say you're going to do 15% of $44. Okay. You're going to write that. And as you can see, 15% of $44 is 6.6 .6 US dollars. So it's just going to add that to the $44. So the initial price is going to be $50 with, you know, the overridden tax prices. Then you have the product overriders where you can set custom tax rates for a collection of the products. So again, you can add a product override as well. Now, uh, let's say I don't have any products in my store right now, but let's say you have proper products. So you can individually pinpoint and pick 
products from your store, like proper pinpoint them. And once you, you know, have pinpointed them, you can uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, again, keep tax overrides. Let's say we're going to keep 23% for a certain product. And as you can see, it says error because we haven't uh, choose a product. Let's choose home page for now. And as you can see, we have uh, included, like, let's say there's a specific product. This product is called home page, just as an example. Now, in this product, you have a 23% tax override. So that's how you're going to, you know, set up your whole, your whole overriding thing. Then you also have your tax reports. You can download proper tax reports as well, where you just need to go to your tax reports. And here you're going to get a summary of all your reports. From there on out, just download it. And uh, yeah, that's, you know, how basic and easy it is to, you know, do all of that. Now, once you're done with that, uh, you know, you've uh, set taxes for yourself in the U.S. and the countries you live in. Here you have duties and import taxes. Help international customers avoid unexpected fees. Upgrade to advanced Shopify to collect duties and import taxes at checkout for countries and regions you ship to. Now, obviously, this cannot be done at uh, the free trial. Now, I'm on a free trial currently, but this can only be done if uh, you're on, you know, at least the basic plan, at least. So you're going to have to have the basic plan to, you know, wait, let me take you back to this. OK, you're going to at least have the basic plan to, you know, see the duties and import taxes. So uh, apart from that, here you have decide how tax is charged. Manage how taxes are charged and shown in your store. For a summary of the taxes you've collected, you can, you know, get a report about all the taxes and then you can also include tax and prices. These are product prices, which will include tax. Taxes on shipping rates will be included in the shipping price. Then you also have charge tax on your shipping rates. These can, you know, include your basic shipping rates and tax calculation, which is automatically calculated for, you know, Canadian, European Union and United States and countries. Then you have the charge VAT on digital goods. This will create a collection that you can add digital products to. VAT will also be applied to products in the collection at checkout for European customers. So yeah, and then obviously, as I said, if you haven't already created a shipping zone in the regions you're liable with. So once like, let's say you've, you know, created all these, you know, taxes for, let's say we create a tax for the United States. Once you've done that, you're gonna go and create a shipping zone and you're going to make sure to manage and create a shipping zone for uh, the United States. And to create it for the United States, you're going to come in international. And once you come here, uh, you're going to make sure to, you know, have United States over here. And then once you do that, you're going to add rate for the shipping in the United States. And once you do that, you're going to be pretty much good to go. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it. That is how you, you know, work around with, you know, the taxes and duties when it comes to Shopify. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, thank you for watching this video. If you informative, please drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.